This is my favorite strategy by now. You can stretch it almost as much as the knitting itself. And it's great for clothes, for kids and also for calves. For example, I like to pull back my sleeves, so this is perfect. This is uh, a sewn bite off, which means that you have to use a yarn needle to work it. First, you have to cut the yarn about four times the length you need. So in this case, this is the length that I need. I multiply it by four. So this is the length of my yarn. First, thread your yarn into a yarn needle. I'm not very good at that. And then this bite of is work is worked from the left towards the right. So it's worked from the left towards the right and push back your stitches. You have to pass your yarn needle from the right towards the left across the first two stitches. So that's what you have to do. Pull the yarn through and then you can release both of these stitches. The second step you repeat the same procedure, but instead of passing through the first two stitches, you're going to pass through the first stitch and the previous one. And so on. So every every time you have to pass through one stitch and the previous one. After that, you can release the that stitch and remember to adjust the tension. It's a good idea that after every few stitches, you check that your tension is even. I know that, that it takes time to work it, but it's not very it's not very complicated. And you can remember how to do it. You know, for some bite offs it's so complicated that I can't even remember and every time I have to look at my own videos again to remember how to do it, but it is not the case here. And this is how it looks. You see that the stitches are even, so make sure that you check that every once in a while. When you come to the last stitch, you just work it like before. Cut it by my needle. Pass it through the last stitch and the previous one. And then you're going to join to the first stitch. So now I'm going to pass through the first stitch and the last stitch. Now you can bring the yarn backwards and hide it in the back.